Raceland Magier is arguably the most powerful mage to have ever lived in the world of Kryn. He is also one of the famed Heroes of the Lands and was directly responsible for the defeat of the Queen of Darkness and her Dark Armies during the War of the Lands. He is a human male who is classified as a Wizard of the Black Robe Order, a 20th level accomplishment. He is aligned with a chaotic evil force. His residence is the Tower of High Sorcery at Palanthus. His preferred weapon was the Staff of Magius. Raceland is described as having white hair with golden-hued skin and eyes, standing at roughly 5 foot 9 inches, weighing roughly 135 pounds. His siblings are Karaman Majir, his twin, and Kitiara Uther Matar, who was his half-sister. The twins were born in the year 326 AC, and Raceland was born to Gileon Majir and Rosamond Majir in the town of Solace in 326 AC, shortly after the arrival of his twin brother Karamon. The younger of the twins, Raceland was a difficult birth and born feet first with little chance given to his survival. He was however adopted by his sister Kitiara who nursed him to health. At the age of six, Raceland was taken by his father to study magic under Master Thebald. Kateria left home around that same time as Raceland joined the Mage Academy. By 342, Raceland was growing to a considerably skilled young mage, and that same period of time his parents would die. His father by an accident, his mother falling into a coma from which she never recovered. The twins became friends with the young lad from Salomnia Stern Brightblade. Within two years, they had expanded their circle of friends and went on a number of adventures with Sturm, Tannis Half Elfin, the Kinder Tasselhoff Birdfoot, and the Dwarven Metalsmith Flint Fireforge. The companions decided to split up in 346 AC to find evidence of the true gods and to undertake personal missions. The first part of Raceland and Karaman's journey was to the mysterious Wayrith Forest where the young mage was to take the test of high sorcery. At the age of 20, he would be the youngest mage to ever take the test. During the trial, he would encounter the archmage Fistandantilus who he would negotiate part of his life force for help during the trial. Raceland would pass the test, sacrificing his health and the relationship with his brother who watched Raceland kill an illusion of him. War of the Lands In 348 AC, Raceland and Caramont returned to Solace to reunite with the other companions who had departed on their various missions the five years prior. During that fateful night, the companions, except for Kitiara, would meet at the, at the end of the last home and were joined by Riverwind and Goldmoon of the Kweishu tribe. In their time together, they would kill a black dragon, survive attacks from draconian clerics, enter Darkenwood Forest, something no living creatures had done since the Cataclysm, recover the Hammer of Karas from the depths of Thorbidin, survive an attack by the Red Dragon Army and a detachment of Blue Dragons commanded by the Blue Lady who was Kateria, and defeat the Dragon High Lord Ariakas. After the collapse of the Temple of Tachesis, Raceland traveled to the city of Palanthus where he stepped onto the gates of the High Tower of Sorcery, declaring himself master of the past and present. He lifted the curse of the black robe Ranok had placed on the tower shortly before the Cataclysm. Moving into the tower, Raceland used the next two years to study the spell books of Fistan Dantilus to increase his own power and conduct his own experiments in the tower. During this time, he developed a plan to challenge Tachesis for her seat in the Pantheon of the Gods. With his plan nearing fruition, he was finally confronted by his brother Caramon, who informed him what the world would be like if he succeeded. Raceland re relented and sacrificed himself to the Dark Goddess to prevent her from coming into the world. Tachesis pulled him into the Abyss with the plan to torture him and kill him every day, and then bring him back to life 
to endure an eternity of torment. However, because of his sacrifice, Raceland was granted a reprieve by the god Paladin and sent into a long sleep instead. Presumed dead by everyone, Raceland remained in the abyss for many years. However, after the events of the Chaos War, he re- but as part of his penance for returning to the world, Raceland did so without magic. Returning home to Solace, he was, wo- he was welcomed warmly by his brother and sister-in-law. However, according to the agreement with Chaos, Raceland with the other gods departed the world in 383 AC.